Brothers and sisters, a few years ago, um, when I was a student um, training to be a priest in the Dominican House of Studies or the Dominican Studium in Dublin, I we had a retreat. And on the retreat, there was a priest who spoke about, you know, the three important virtues uh, or the acts of the soul that really um, elevate the soul uh, towards God and attract God, you could say. But really, the, these acts are graces from God, that God really is the one who who is inspiring and moving by his grace, by his power, the soul to, to, to go beyond um, just a natural realm, so towards the supernatural, to, to this encounter with God, to, to start already in this life uh, a knowledge of God that, that, that is above nature, but not against nature. In other words, nature, as I've been saying before in the last little while, is capable of, of rising above just an, only a natural plane and, and is capable of the supernatural, is capable with God's grace and his help to, 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 to receive a knowledge and an experience of God in love that, is, that, that we could only really get to with, with God's grace. And so these virtues, faith, hope, and love, that they're crucial uh, for this elevation of the soul. And we're saved. In other words, we, we enter eternal life, we survive death, and we, we're able to, to, to enter eternal life with God because of these virtues, primarily. Uh, they're the foundation of all the other virtues, all the other acts of the soul, that when we l commit these other acts, they shape our soul. They, you know, it, 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 we, what we do affects who we are, kind of boomerangs back onto ourselves, our actions. And so it forms who we are and essentially will form the type of character we are, uh, whether it's compatible with the divine light or not, um, whether it's compatible with salvation or not. Uh, so, so how we live our life, the works that we do, um, affects so much who we are and, and uh, our ability to reach the Lord. And so, but he, in this talk, this priest said, you know, like one of the virtues that's often forgotten today is hope. Um, you know, people might pray for faith, Lord, help increase my faith, help my unbelief, you know, Lord, give me love, help me to love that person. But they may not pray, Lord, give me hope, you know, increase my hope, remove my despair. Um, or we might just forget about hope in the middle of it all. And so um, I started to pray for hope. I remember because of his you know, his advice, and so I see I notice a difference in my life. And, and since then, I'm in the habit of praying for hope. And, you know, the Lord loves to give these graces. Um, he loves to, to inspire these, these graces that, that, that help us to anchor ourselves, root ourselves in, in Him more deeply, yeah? And so hope, as Christians, we know is not politics, it's not economics, it's not technology, it's not medicine, it's not science, it's not, it's not each other. You know, these, all these things are good, you know, um, of course, if they're ordered towards God and they, they, they bring about, uh, you know, our souls to union with God, they, they're good gifts. But they themselves, all these things, science, politics, economics, etc. They're not our hope. They're not the object of the Christian's hope. The Christian's hope, thank God, is something far more stable, more enduring. All these other things come and go. They're subject to, to, to ebbs and flows. But the Christian's hope is based, first of all, on God. And it's based on, it's based on eternal life. It's, 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 hope is what arouses in us the desire for eternal life, for the next life, for, for life with God in heaven. And so hope is very much a way of heaven. And it's not an escape. Hope's not, Christian hope's not meant to be an escape from this world. But it's, it is the answer to the call of St. Paul. Fix your minds on eternal things. Think of heavenly things. Fix your mind on God. So that your, because when the soul does that through a, an incredible faith and love and hope, then then the soul is filled with energy and a life givingness and a and and the vitality to live this life well. So so Christian is someone whose soul is filled with hope because the soul f focused on the much bigger picture. 
And so it's not lost on the tragedies of life, not lost in the personal trials and struggles. This hope sees a bigger picture through faith. And, and love then spurs on the hopeful and faithful Christian, you know, to, to put God first, etc., and above all things, and to love your neighbor as you would love yourself in view of God. Uh, loving your neighbor because of God. That's what love would do. Charity does. And, and so, but hope then is, is, is so keeping that eternal perspective so that one is not lost in, in, in sometimes the, the, the great trials of life. And, and hope then is also this. So it's, it's, it desires eternal life, but it is based on God's power, on his, his awesomeness and God's fidelity, his faithfulness to us to fulfill the promises that he's promised to us. So that is really the anchor of hope, that God is faithful to see his promises to be fulfilled. 